What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you how to color with colored pencils. Now for this video I'm going to be using Prismacolor brand colored pencils. You can also use Arteza, Faber-Castell Polychromos, whatever other colored pencil brand that you have. But for this video I'm using Prismacolors. So the colors I'll be using are PC 916 Canary Yellow, PC 1002 Yellowed Orange, PC 918 Orange, PC 922 Poppy Red, and PC 924 Crimson Red. So those are the colors I'll be using to color in this box that you see in my sketchbook right here. And I got nothing else left to say, so let's get started. So before we get into using the colored pencils, I'm gonna set them aside for now. What I am gonna do is take my ruler here and divide this shape into five equal parts. So this shape goes all the way up to the number 19 and I'm gonna divide that by five because I have five colored pencils here. So when I take 19 and divide it by five, I get a number that's just under the number four. So it's about 3.8. So what I'm gonna do is make a dot above this shape so it's 3.8, 7.6, 11.4, and 15.2, okay? So inside of each of these brackets is where I'll be applying each color when I go to blend them. But now that we have that divided, we can go ahead and put our ruler and everything away. And now let's grab our colored pencils. So this canary yellow color, that's gonna be my base color. So what I'm gonna do is apply this to the entire shape. And I don't know if you're able to see this on camera, but I'm just scribbling in this entire area. And I'm just being sure to cover everything because we're gonna need the entire space. And if you want, you can apply a whole nother layer on top of it, just so this yellow is more visible. Okay, so now that I got this yellow on the paper, I'm gonna set that aside for now. I'm gonna grab my mid-tone now, which is this yellowed orange color. And then I'm gonna start here at this section and begin to scribble some of that orange in. And when I apply this orange, I'm working on top of um, two or three layers of this yellow that I already applied. So you want to push down on this pencil as much as you can just to make this orange visible. This task shouldn't be too hard because yellow itself is already a light color. So it's easy to see this orange come up on the page. And also I forgot to mention that when you're using colored pencils, try to go in one direction and then add another direction. So as you just saw, I went in this direction with my colored pencils, and now I'm going in a whole nother direction, or the opposite direction, as I'm adding a whole nother layer with this same color, just to help smoothen these strokes. Because I don't want my finished piece to all go in one direction. I don't want that. I don't like that look. Okay, and then back at this section, what we can do is apply light pressure so that way this orange kind of blends in with the layer underneath it, this yellow. So right here, I'm just going in a circular motion. And as I'm going back and forth, I'm kind of adding a little bit more pressure to it. So that way I don't apply too much colored pencil and I don't apply too less, if that makes sense. So now this entire layer of orange blends in with the layer underneath it, this yellow. Alright, so now I'm done with that. Let's grab our next color and do the same thing. And as we're grabbing our next colors, we end up pushing harder on the pencils because we're working on top of several layers of pencil already. So like in this area, there would be about three or four layers. So I gotta push harder on this pencil just to help make this visible. And then I gotta push over here in this area too. Push harder 
and I'm going in that one direction and then I'm gonna go in the whole another direction just to help smoothen that out I mean in this case it's already smooth but I'm gonna do this just in case just to help set a good example and besides I need to go over this area anyway just to add more pressure And now we're done using that. Let's go in with our next color and do the same thing. And with this color, I'm applying even more pressure. So that way this red is now visible and still able to blend with the colors underneath it. And then just color that in. I'm going in a circular motion so that way I don't have to worry about going over it in a whole nother direction again. Little circles, circles, circles. Okay. And now let's apply our last color, which is this crimson red. circular motion covering that area and I'm applying a very large amount of pressure to the pencil so I'm gonna start off at this end I'm gonna apply a crazy amount of pressure I'm just gonna go like an up and down kind of direction so that way as I work back this way all the colors would have been fully blended together easily so apply a lot of pressure here okay and then we can also go over this area again just to get rid of some of those white spots that you don't want to see but it might not be fully achievable but you can still get a close enough result by doing this and now let's grab our second to last color and blend it back into the red that we just finished applying so let's start by blending that in by adding a large amount of pressure to that And add a circular motion as we get closer to the other color to help it blend. And then start adding multiple layers for this section. Okay, and then you can also go back into our previous red and kind of blend this color in just to help kind of stretch those colors or stretch the blend area actually. Yeah, so we got good enough blend area and now let's go in with our next previous color which is this orange or actually our mid-tone and start to add more pressure but first let's get that blended and just uh, expand the blending area by going into the previous color And once you do that, you should be good. Okay, so now being done applying this color, let's go to our next color, which is this yellowed orange, our second to lightest color. 
and I'm just gonna go in a circular motion as I go towards this color here. Apply lots of pressure. If you go in one direction, go in the opposite. Because as you do it, you're applying more pressure, which is what you want to do. And now a little tip that I want to throw out there for you guys. This area here kind of looks like it's just one color and then another. So what you can do is take the color that you used previously and kind of go in a circular motion. But at the same time, add very light pressure to kind of blend this previous color into the one you just finished applying. So like with this one, I'm just going in a circular motion and adding light pressure. And then as I do that, I'm kind of building up on pressure. So that way I don't add too much of this uh, of this color. But I'm trying to blend it in with this color underneath it. But do keep in mind that we are working on top of several other layers. So sometimes you gotta immediately press hard. But the reason I apply light pressure at first is because me personally, I don't know my own strength. So that's why I try to, uh, you know, start from the ground up if that makes sense. And then also getting rid of these white spots over here. Okay, and then once you finish that, you can go in with that one color and blend it back in. Okay, and then now we're on to our last color, our base color actually, which is this canary yellow. So what I'm gonna do now is since this section over here has only one, two, or three layers over here, I'm gonna apply a lot of pressure and also build up on layers as I do it. So that way I can kinda sorta blend into this next orange. And then I'm gonna take my previous color and sort of blend that by going in a circular motion. Okay, and that looks like a good enough blend. So now I can go back with my yellow and start adding pressure to that one section and then just uh, achieve a good blend out of these two colors. See, as I'm applying this base color of a yellow, I'm kind of overlapping the orange that I just applied and kind of going into that, but not exactly. So that's a good enough blend. So now I can go back in with our actual section and apply that same pressure. And if the blending still seems off, all you gotta do is repeat those same steps. So this is my second, the lightest color. And I'm just gonna continue going in a light pressure at first and kind of blending in with that yellow. Just make it super light. I know I'm going outside of the blending area, but um, this still, it still kind of helps. And then once I'm done with that color, I can just go back in with my yellow and apply light pressure to this yellow as I blend it in with this area. And then I can also go back into this section with the yellow so that way it still kind of blends as it transitions to this color. Okay, and you can do that same step with all the other sections as well. Like over here with my red, there's still some white spots available, but I'm not gonna fix that right now. But yeah, that's how you do it. 
that's how you color with colored pencils. So if you like this video or if you find it useful, give it a like and a comment. Subscribe if you haven't and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video.